some of the scooter laws out there make little to no sense. Sure, we know we're a little biased, but think about it. How can some of these Canadian cities permit rental scooters, e-bikes, and grandmas with 2070 vision on the road while outlawing personally owned electric scooters in 2024? Okay, I digress. Rant over. As electric scooters continue to advance in both power and speed, cities and governments worldwide are faced with the challenge of regulating them to ensure the safety of both riders, vehicles, and pedestrians. At Apollo, we are a proudly Canadian company, deeply rooted in the land of maple syrup and hockey. So, it's about time we looked in our own backyard and explored the regulations of some of our biggest markets here in Canada. However, if you live south of the border, fear not. Just a couple of weeks ago, we put together a comprehensive guide tailored specifically for American riders. You can find the link to that video in the description box below. Now, let's dive into the exciting world of electric scooters in the Great White North. Let's start with Toronto. While riding on private property is permissible, navigating public roads, bike lanes, or sidewalks can be tricky due to regulations. There was a pilot project a couple years ago that we actually made a video about that we'll link in the box below. However, Canada's biggest city is still grappling with fully embracing e-scooters. As of today, rides exceeding 24 kilometers per hour are subject to motorcycle laws, requiring compliance with driving licenses, registrations, and insurance. Because the laws in Toronto are in constant flux, there may be a change happening very soon. So keep your ear to the ground and click the link in the description to visit the official page for scooter regulations in the city of Toronto. Apollo proudly calls Montreal home, and we're thrilled to be part of the province's initiatives in the realm of e-scooters. Our hometown has slowly been embracing alternative modes of transportation and exploring how e-scooters can coexist with existing traffic while ensuring safety. As of right now, Montreal regulations stipulate that e-scooters must not exceed 25 kilometers per hour, and they can operate on roads with speed limits of 50 kilometers or less, as well as on designated bike paths. Riders must be at least 14 years old, and using a helmet is mandatory for everyone's safety. Additionally, there's a shared scooter rental service that is restricted to the Parc Jean Drapeau. Vancouver truly shines in the summertime, boasting some of the most breathtaking scenery for a scooter ride in all of Canada. Back in July 2021, the city embarked on a three-year pilot program to see how scooters can integrate with pedestrians and vehicles, and we'll have the results from the pilot program this summer. However, during the pilot program, scooters were given the green light to zip around local streets and ride through protected bike lanes. However, the iconic seawall was strictly off-limits for e-scooters. Though we have seen countless riders enjoying the bike lanes over the last three years, with little to no complaints from city officials. So, fingers crossed, they make it legal to ride this beautiful route. Now, let's talk about safety. Riders must not only obey speed limits and motor power restrictions, but also ensure their scooters are equipped with brakes and lights, especially when riding at night. And of course, strapping on a helmet is a must. The city has made it crystal clear that users must be 16 years of age or older to hop on board and join in on the adventure. For those curious about the technical details, here's the rundown. Maximum speed tops out at 24 kilometers per hour with a maximum motor power of 500 watt. So whether you're a local looking to explore your city or a visitor seeking to have an unforgettable experience, Vancouver's e-scooter scene promises excitement and unforgettable views. Just remember to ride safely and responsibly. Calgary is embracing the use of shared e-scooters, making them readily available for riders to explore the city's vibrant streets and scenic pathways. These e-scooters are permitted on designated paths, which include bike lanes, pathways, and quieter sidewalks, providing riders with a convenient and eco-friendly mode of transportation. Personal scooters are also welcomed on Calgary's pathways, allowing residents to enjoy the freedom of cruising around their city at their own pace. However, it's essential to keep in mind the regulations that govern Calgary's pathway network. The city's park and pathway bylaw sets forth guidelines that all users must adhere to, including a maximum speed limit of 20 kilometers per hour. When it comes to navigating Calgary's roads and sidewalks, regulations fall under the jurisdiction of the Alberta Traffic Safety Act. Electric scooters are not permitted on these surfaces without a provincial exemption, emphasizing the importance of understanding and following the rules of the road. And here's a friendly reminder, always prioritize safety. In Calgary, reckless driving of an e-scooter can result in hefty fines, with a reckless driving charge potentially costing you a whopping $400. We're not too happy with Edmonton, as privately owned electric scooters are currently restricted. This precautionary measure stems from a genuine safety concern and the absence of comprehensive regulations governing privately owned electric scooters. As a result, riders must rely on devices provided by approved shared programs to enjoy the convenience 
and excitement of e-scooter transportation. Edmonton's regulations dictate that shared scooters are allowed on bike paths and roads with speed limits of 50 kilometers per hour or less, providing riders with ample opportunities to navigate the city's streets and pathways. Additionally, there are age requirements to consider. Riders must be at least 18 years old to hop on board of an e-scooter. And while helmets aren't mandatory by law, they're highly recommended to ensure the safety of riders, especially when cruising at higher speeds or navigating busy ones. We hope that Edmonton's officials recognize the advantages of privately owned electric scooters in the near future, as they offer a compelling alternative to traditional modes of transportation. In Ottawa, the capital city of Canada, e-scooter usage is given the green light, but with a clear distinction between privately owned and shared devices. If you're rolling around on your own electric scooter, you'll need to ensure that it meets all legal requirements from speed limits to safety equipment. When it comes to shared e-scooters, back in 2023, a fleet of 900 shared scooters hit the streets of downtown Ottawa, creating quite the buzz. But with them came their own set of rules and regulations. Riders of shared e-scooters are subject to age restrictions, helmet mandates, and they need to adhere to designated parking zones. For more information on Ottawa's do's and don'ts when it comes to using an electric scooter, check out the link in the description. But just remember, whether you're cruising on your personal ride or snagging one from the fleet, play by the rules and enjoy the ride responsibly. Winnipeg allows e-scooters through approved shared programs, offering residents and visitors access to preferred modes of eco-friendly transportation. Sadly, you can't take your own e-scooter out for a spin on public roads or sidewalks just yet. Come on, Winnipeg. The winters are brutal. Can't Winnipeggers at least enjoy their four weeks of summer? You'll find the shared scooters in specific areas of the city. The good news is that you can ride them in bike lanes and on roads with lower speed limits up to 50 kilometers per hour. And while specific regulations regarding helmets remain unspecified, riders who use the shared programs are encouraged to prioritize safety at all times. Once again, to stay up to date on all of Winnipeg's e-scooter laws, click the link in the description below. However, if you prefer not to read, fear not. We'll update this video for 2025. Quebec City has a pilot project for shared e-scooters, but your own private e-scooter won't be legal on the public roads. For the shared ones, here's what you need to know. In order to be in compliance with the law, you need to be at least 14 years old and wearing a helmet is mandatory. You can also scoot around in bike lanes and on roads where the speed limit doesn't go above 50 kilometers per hour. Keep in mind that those e-scooter rentals have speed limits built in, so there is no need to worry about accidentally going too fast. The best place is to check the SAAQ website for all official details. It's Quebec's equivalent of the DMV. Let's address the elephant in the room. It's no secret that we're not exactly thrilled about all these regulations. We firmly believe that electric scooters should be fully legalized and seamlessly integrate into the city's transportation infrastructure moving forward, just like bikes. But hey, we know scooters are a bit misunderstood, just like a kid in a John Hughes movie trying to find our place in the world. So despite the challenges, we're determined to show that scooters belong on the streets too. Despite our reservations, we're encouraged by the progress we've witnessed over the last few years. And because we want to future-proof our models, all of our scooters are app compatible, allowing you to customize settings such as stop speed to adhere to your city's regulations. Above all, we always emphasize the importance of safety and respect for others on the road. The key to gaining acceptance for scooters among those who may not fully understand them is to demonstrate that there is nothing to fear.